Mahalo America! What up people? So updates on the Hawaiian Odyssey. Uh, yesterday was a major breakthrough. We've actually had a couple days in a row that were just super major breakthroughs for us. Things are working out people! I was stressed out for a minute and then shit just started working out, people! So here's what happened. You heard they changed the dog quarantine from 120 days to 30 days. That put us under the gun as far as you're off the airplane, here's your dog, what are you gonna do? We had a hostel book for the first week. No dogs allowed in the hostel. So we said, shit, what are we gonna do with this dog? We got a hostel, the dog can't be there. Now we're searching for somebody that we can board the dog with immediately upon landing. <sighs> what happens is a friend of mine named Bill and his lovely wife, Sally, who live over there in Maui, they called me up. Said, hey, Brian, we got your email that you're coming over. Sorry I haven't gotten back to you. We've been busy, but when are you coming? If you don't have a place to stay immediately, you can stay with us for the first week if that helps you out. Boom! You have no idea how huge that was. No idea how huge that was. Right on the heels of that, a friend of my dad's cousin, Tony, who lives over in Maui, who's into real estate, said, I'll try and help you guys out. I'll be some eyes on the ground. I'll see if I can't find a place that is an apartment that's not a total shithole, bikini shithole, and that is dog friendly. He said, you guys are going to have a terrible time finding a place that's not dog whatever. They don't want your dog here. That's what he said. He said, but I'll help out. I'll look. I will try to navigate the scams from the non-scams for you. What happened is Samantha found an apartment on the Craigslist. Tony's buddy John said it's not a scam, but it's probably a shithole. My buddy Bill said I'll go scope out the neighborhood and take some pictures. Bill came back and said it's kind of a sketchy neighborhood, but I wouldn't rule it out, but I give it a solid two and a half out of 10. This is in Kihei. He said, it looks like there's some abandoned buildings around it. There's some broken down cars, but I wouldn't say it's not a good idea based on that. He said, that's just the way it is. John comes over, the real estate king. King Kamakameha. He says, I'm gonna go look at a place in Kihei, but I think that the whole town of Kihei is a chateau. But I'll check it out for you guys. So he drives over there. John goes inside the place. He says, guys, I think that's your apartment. The price is right. It's not a terrible location. There's some abandoned things around it, but I saw some girls that were out by themselves. They were jogging up and down the street. They were walking their dogs. They weren't scared of no neighbors. He said, I'd go for it, because there's not gonna be too many places that are as willing to let you and Sam move in there with the dog and no job man. So he said, I think you should do it. We already had a good gut feeling from Sam talking back and forth to the woman who was renting out the property, the lady who Sam has been back and forth with. She don't own the place. Her husband to be, fiance does, he also has a ranch over on Big Island where he's got some horses and some rescue animals from the volcano. So she says, I'm renting it out for my husband. You guys are in, I'll take a deposit. It's your place. You guys can rest assured knowing that you can get off the plane and basically have a place November 1st to bring Charlie without stressing it. It's a six month lease, so if it is a shithole, we can get out of that shithole. But she said, I think it's gonna be a perfect fit. I got a really good feeling about it. Sam talks to her a little bit more. The lady says, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I couldn't talk to you last night. I got wrapped into some family stuff. We just bailed on a family trip last week to Westerly, which is in Rhode Island, folks. That's where I am right now. Turns out, that the landlord of the place that we've already agreed to move into 
spends every summer renting out a place in Watch Hill, Rhode Island, which is where Samantha grew up spending her summers also. Random serendipity, people. I don't know how you can fake that. We just got signs from God, we got signs from Buddha, we got signs from every single thing out there saying, we're gonna make a place for you guys. We got you, we're gonna change the dark quarantine so Charlie's not in jail. We're gonna give you guys a place that you can safely live and have cars break down and Brian can be out in the yard working on broken down cars all day and the dog can't play. Woof, 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 woof. Mahalo, everybody. Now we get off the plane, we go to Bill and Sal's, Sally's house. We're safe. We go straight from there after a week into our place to live. And then we find the perfect jobs that the island has been wanting us to take for years. Mahalo, people. Aloha, America. Thank you. Couldn't have done it without everybody out there, too. I can't say this enough. Every single thing that's happening is from somebody giving us something that's telling us somebody that's got a connection somewhere that's, you got to work the world for the world to work, people. You got to work the world for the world to work.